All right, everybody, what's good? Your boy's back. So I'd just like to talk about a little bit about Jamie Foxx, all right? As you can see, he's done a lot in the acting or the entertainment industry. Over the last, what, 30 years, I can remember when he played the Shaniqua in Living Color. All right. Well, we don't need to play those uh, roles anymore. I'm thinking as black men, but that's one of the the initiators for Jamie Foxx on how you know what what uh, thrusted him or throttled him to uh, his career. Okay, or kind of like put him on the map with that role. All right. So. I know it's unfortunate that a lot of brothers had to take those type of roles to, to make a name for themselves. But anyway, he went on to talk about his his situation and why he was out of the out of the loop. So this happened in April, where it was a medical emergency. Uh, in the in the midst of shooting a film, and he had to go to the hospital, and he was gone for a while. And he recovered, but he still needed, from reports I saw, like therapy and that type of stuff, okay? Uh, physical therapy, okay, to make sure that he was intact so he can go back to work. Again, it's my understanding he's back at work, okay? But I've seen several articles, and I've gotten several... Um, reasons why, well, from uh, from several sources, trusted sources, that Mr. Fox had a stroke, okay? And uh, I did a video about this matter when he at first got admitted to the hospital, all right? And I explained why. I think you guys that are in the know, you already know why that he had a stroke, okay? So stuff that people would have been putting in their bodies. That's all I'm going to say. Something that is allegedly. All right, but the video, in the video, he just explained that, uh, that he didn't want anybody seeing him in the condition that he was in. All right, with tubes in his body, going through therapy, and so forth. And then the clone thing. I can't prove it, no cloning because I understand it takes a very long time to clone a person. So I don't know if there's any type of fruition with that. All right. So, but I, I do know this. I think when you go to the hospital for something serious and you have to spend time there, in a coma, or they have to cut you open, they gotta, you know, put you to sleep for something, something serious. You're not gonna be the same when you get back, okay? Or when you recover. It may be fairly close, but I don't think you, you're gonna be the same, but particularly like in a, uh, in a predicted, uh, predicament like Jamie Foxx. But, you know, all in all, and I said this before, that I'm pleased to see him back, you know, um, and he's able to, you know, once again, live a productive life. I just hope that maybe he could live his life somewhat in a different life, light. And I don't know, maybe he could educate others, the two others, the importance of health. Okay, maybe inspire inspire others to get themselves together health wise. All right. Uh, it's to my understanding that Jamie Foxx had came through a like a school of arts in Texas. He uh, learned how to sing and play music and act, and also uh, he was also so athletic. You know, he did quite a few uh, athletic movies, but in particular one of my favorite movies that he did any given Sunday. That was back in the day. You know, so I think he did a pretty good job with that. 
It was supposed to be a tight shot by Optic, but I don't know if that, they're going to come out with that that movie. Uh, Michael J. White, White did that. Uh, he did the Michael uh, Mike Tyson uh, remake or the Mike, Mike Tyson bi uh, bioptic himself. Uh, I can remember that, uh, back in the day when he did that. So, hey, man, you know, good to see him back. And goes to show that being that if this clone or not or whatever that you may hear or you feel about Jamie Foxx, it just goes to show that the most high, he, hey, just like he can give it, he can take it, away, uh, take it away, okay? I apologize for life because I'm going through this little pass down in, here in Arizona on, on the way back home, okay? So the light will fade in and out, but as long as you can hear me, all right, because, man, just like he could, this goes to show in, in more modern times, boy, you can get zapped and your life is gone, all right? And I made several articles about the, uh, about this matter, young and old, people are just dropping dead, okay, for these unknown reasons. In fact, uh, if I get the time today, I'm going to do a video about there's a wet weather lady, uh, lady uh, Elise Fitch. 50 years old, okay, dead of no un, uh, of unknown reasons. Was married and had a daughter, okay, but a very lo lovely lady, respectfully, all right? So let me know what you think about the video there. I thank you for your time. Stay tuned for the next video.